Hello dear YouTube and friends and welcome to this new video. This is showing how you can set reverse thrust on your SciTech or Logitech throttle quadrant. Mine's a Logitech throttle quadrant but I believe they're one and the same thing. So many people use this. How to set reverse thrust with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. By default, reverse thrust isn't set. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm set up with the A320 here. I'm going to jump on my computer and show you a few settings on how you can set this. Okay, so while you're in game, press escape to get to the options menu. Go to controls. And you want to put the filter on all because on assigned at the moment we don't, if you go down to throttle here, we don't have a button set to reverse thrust or an axis set to reverse. We've got the reverse axis which is completely different but not reverse thrust. So you want to make sure filters on all. Go to power management, that may be showing like that, so you'll have all the menus showing like this. Go to power management, click on that, click on throttle, you probably have to actually click into throttle like that as well, so it shows all the throttle options. Go right down to the bottom of the throttle options, you will find toggle throttle reverse thrust. Now what you want to do is click on that, you can search by input, so I'll click there, and actually on your left lever or whatever lever you have on your throttle quadrant, whatever lever you want to assign as reverse thrust, I want the left one, I'll click it right down, should show a Z there, and then click validate. And then it will come up there. Sometimes it doesn't always come up. You can click it and it won't show. I think it's showing because I've set this previously. If it doesn't show there, go to select input. And then scroll down slowly. Otherwise you'll go past it very slowly. Until you see Z come up. I've got it set to Z anyway. And just click validate there. And then click apply and save and now we have the Z the left lever on your throttle quadrant when you pull it right down we've got it set to reverse thrust let's show you the effects of this in game okay so let's give you an example of this so I've got my reverse set as my uh, Z function so if I pull my throttle lever I've got my throttle set to this lever you may have it set to a different lever but it's set to this for me if I pull it down which is effectively reverse toggle it I should be going in reverse let's show you the forward thrust for now so I'll push the throttle forward and you should see the aircraft move forward as it is doing so let's push that down and let's brake got my brake set to that button still it's good for me let's just quickly toggle this so just pull it down and push it back up so I've toggled it now if I push my throttle forward look what's happening it's the aircraft is going backwards we've reversed thrust on that the reverse thrust is not quite as powerful as the forward thrust for obvious reasons now the camera is panning itself <laughs> automatically for whatever reason it doesn't really matter let's just know that throttle and press brake I shall toggle that again just push it down and th what on earth is going on with my camera there <laughs> I'm not doing anything not doing a thing. Okay, it's gone back behind, behind the aircraft. Maybe when you reverse it just likes to go towards the front of the aircraft. Never mind. I'll toggle that again. Did I just toggle that? Let's just see. No, it's still in reverse. Never mind. I'll toggle it. Pull it down quickly. Push it back up. And off we go into forward throttle again. Let's do this quickly. Null it toggle it, throttle up, 
you should see the aircraft slow down while it tries to reverse so you can imagine if you're coming into a landing the aircraft is moving forward in its forward momentum and then you kick in the reverse and then slowly the reverses work to slow the aircraft down in this case it slows it down so much that it slowly reverses that's the way it works that's the best way i can set it up let's just slow the aircraft down that's the best way i've found to set it up with flight simulator 2020 so far you could use a button this button for example if you set that button to reverse toggle it as long as you've got your throttle node and then you start to move it it will if you toggle it into reverse it will start to go into reverse or trigger the reverse engines i just find that quite handy toggle it push forward in that case i've got it in forward momentum toggle it push forward you can hear the engines now trying to go into reverse trying to reverse this huge bulk of an aircraft and you know what it does it until they fix or come up with some kind of solution where if you toggle it let's just stop that if you toggle it and then it stays in reverse that's the best solution let's just pull the brakes on that so we're not moving that's the best solution that i've found for it so far it does work and it's quite a comfortable way if you're flying airliners especially the default airliners at the moment it's quite a comfortable way of using it you just toggle reverse so there you go let me know your thoughts guys leave a comment in the video leave a like if you liked it and subscribe for more i shall see you very soon